Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you a neat little trick today that will save you a lot of hassle in the future. Um, it's encrypting your iPad and iPhone backups. Now a lot of you are thinking straight away, why would I want to encrypt my backups because it's only me who uses it. Now it's not for security reasons, I agree. I don't feel the need to put a password on my backups because it's more of an inconvenience whenever you need to, to restore from a backup. You've got to remember the password and if you type the password wrong and you lost your backup essentially. Pick a password that you know and that you'll memorize, maybe it's the same as your Facebook one, it doesn't matter because it's not going to be online, it's only going to be on your computer, and the chances of someone stealing your backup are, are slim, to be honest, and why would they want to anyway? Anyway, the point of putting a password on a backup is because, uh, not only for security reasons, it also saves your email address passwords as well. So whenever you restore from a backup, you don't have to re-enter your passwords for email addresses, and that applies for all email addresses, and um, or mobile me accounts as well. That's a lot of hassle for me. Whenever I got a new device, um, I've got three email accounts linked to uh, both my iPad and my iPhone, and it'd be very useful if I could just click one button. It does it all for me. Uh, restores my backup, all my apps, all my music, my Springboard locations, and stuff like that, and also my email address. So this is all you have to do. You literally plug your device into iTunes. It comes up on the side of your screen, and then you scroll down to the very bottom and it says options and it gives you a massive list of options to do with um, converting bit rate of songs so you can fit more music onto your iPad or iPhone and uh, only manage music and videos manually and stuff like that but we'll ignore that, the very bottom one is the one you want to click on so literally just click in there, the tick box and then type in a password you want to put in make sure you can remember it, if you need to you can set the password in the keychain so you never have to type it in it will just automatically uh, enter it for you if you're on a Mac and if you're on Windows you're going to have to memorize it hit set password and then this will happen it will do a uh, backup you won't be able to use iTunes for about five or ten minutes but it will back up all your stuff again uh, prior to your last backup and also back up your email addresses and accounts like that um, so you won't ever have to put your password into your email address whenever you restore again um, this takes about ten minutes like I say um, a look at the other options as well though, if you want to um, have a bit more space on your device, so you can see on my iPad I've got 5 gigabytes of music and only 4.6 gigabytes free, if you just check convert higher bitrate songs uh, to 128 kilobytes per second, that will actually compress all your MP3s into a lower bitrate and a different type of uh, file format, so AAC which is Apple's lossless file format, if you do that you'll probably shave a gig gig and a half off your um, audio and you'll be able to fit more on to your iPad. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope it's been a useful tip. It takes two minutes to do, ten minutes to wait, to go make yourself a cup of tea. And um, I will do a video on Dropbox soon, so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching. Bye bye.